Aquarius, hello, my darlings. Welcome to your spring equinox readings. I am using my animal tarot for you today because wands in here are represented by spring. Um, we are going, the equinox is a wonderful time to sort of look back with balance at what's been happening in our lives, what's been growing in our lives, um, and to sort of focus ahead with an intent to see where we can spring clean, where we can nurture what's growing and where we can spring forward, my darlings. Um, if this reading resonates, you are hearing it within your divine design. Uh, my readings are timeless. Uh, and if it does resonate, or I resonate as a reader. Thank you so much for liking this video. Thank you, my darlings, for all your wonderful comments, for those of you who have subscribed and for those of you that have become members. So um, I'm guessing the Hierophant has come out. Whatever this life experience is for you, whether this is a relationship or a situation at this time, my darlings, it is one that is a great teacher for you. So spirit wants you to adopt the role of either learning from this experience or if you've already learned to sit in a space of recognition of it and understand that you are now ready to um assist others or move forward in your life with uh that knowledge but it's a very but it's it, equally this is a a situation or relationship that is one that is a, a big one in your life okay it's it's one that this could talk about marriage as well it can talk about a committed relationship but i'm feeling with because it's the polar bear here it is one that you, uh, the polar bear tends to feel very strongly a, a, a sense of uh they live alone so i feel that you are in a space where you are able to um have been in a space of reflection about something anyway let's see what wishes to come out um and i feel that you feel a calling because this this polar bear is here teaching others as well thank you spirit eight of spring yeah um so this is uh, the past energies for you with the eight of spring, which is the eight of wands. This is this lovely energy of where attention goes, energy flows. Um, you, my darling, have got a, you have a calling. Uh, I feel you are called to be of service. I feel that, you know, you, this is that first message that I got through with this card, that you wish and desire to help others. And it is through the experiences and the reflections that you have, because we don't learn from our experiences, we learn from the reflection of the experience, taking that time uh, to absorb and to reflect and to come to understandings through seeing the underside of things. And that creates knowledge, which creates great wisdom. And you have great wisdom, my darling. And this eight of spring here, this eight of wands, I feel that you feel intuitively led now to, to, um, to, uh, to, to do something your energy is taking you to do something that is positive that is healing bees honey represents healing energy i want you to look up the marigolds here as well um and i feel as well that there are others that are assisting you um at this time and with this eight of wands it's a reminder that as a soul whatever you have are doing as part of your meaningful purpose in your life only you can do it as a soul, you've been picked to do this. So never doubt yourself. The bee, maybe not so much the honeybee, but the bumblebee doesn't know, it's not aesthetically designed to fly, but it does because nobody's ever told it otherwise. So don't tell yourself you can't do this. You're meant to do this and keep giving your attention and energy as you've been doing in the past to forward beautiful, um, spontaneous, responses to life because this is very very creating healthy healing energy um let's look at um what uh you can do to nurture this this energy at this time no oh, well look at that nine of pentacles has come out for you do you know what this is the ragdoll cat um sit first what you can do to nurture what's happening at the time in your life sit in a state of appreciation of it of yourself of who you are no more second guessing my darling cats don't second guess no more second guessing sit and purr with contentment and appreciation for what you have in your life that you have created that you have worked hard for that you have dreamt that you have manifested that you have acknowledged 
appreciate all of it, my darling. It's a sense of contentedness. It's a sense of gratitude. And that is a wonderful energy to be putting out there as your resonate, resonant signature. It's also a fabulous time to manifest. It's a wonderful time for organic, beautiful, spontaneous manifestations. And I can guarantee you, you've been manifesting left, right and center, and then slightly being surprised when something that you've got no attachment to has just been appearing in your life. So that's that energy, my darling. And um, so if you do have a kind of wonderful idea at this time, go create, go do it. It's, it's already done. It's a wonderful time to do that. So, I mean, these two cards together, fabulous, fabulous, fabulous energy. Um, don't second guess yourself. Okay. Cats don't go to sleep at night going, God, I wish I'd done that. Oh, why didn't I do that? I wish I'd chase that, you know, bird. No, just know you're exactly where you're meant to be. And that's the nine of pentacles. And there's recognition of that as well. And you're very independent too. Be very choosy about who you're spending time with as well. Um, I'm just getting, and this sounds a bit strange, but I've just been told it. Um, there are some around you that may wish to stroke your ego, but it's not sincere. But there are others that you resonate with and you know that they're for you because they get you and they're applauding you and they are with you all the way okay uh you recognize the difference in energies uh what's blossoming in your life thank you so you have got um the queen of spring and the prince of autumn has come out so first of all you are blossoming in your life um whatever you're giving your attention to and i feel you're very independent at this time um whatever you're giving your attention to is run you're running free with it you're letting it run free and um you're having fun with it and you've got here the sunflower so your attention and your energy is about uh your gro growth and independent growth at this time and and not only that but sort of feeling a lightness feeling um it's it's the releasing it's the it's the it's the turning your face up to the sun it's embracing uh what is happening uh within your life and as the queen of wands you know again you are a master manifester alongside that nine of pentacles here as well brilliant time to to be in that creative uh expression of oneself and you know you have thoughts and ideas that are absolutely fantastic and spirit this is why this unity card came out you have a thank you there is a unity at the moment between your masculine and your feminine as well. And that's why I'm feeling there's probably more within your feminine side and a little bit less within your masculine. This is why this is the the the, the prince of autumn, the um the knight of pentacles. But actually, what spirit is saying, what is blossoming is not only your trust in what you are desiring to do and how you're doing it and how you're feeling about it, your, what you're leaning towards, your spontaneous kind of response to life and and what you're receiving as as a result of that the cause and effect you're seeing a beautiful example of the court law of cause and effect in your life you know within each and every uh cause and each and every choice that you're making there is a wonderful corresponding uh, effect that is very positive but also what's blossoming in, in your life is the balanced approach with which you're doing it so this is the masculine side of you that is the page of pentacles this is the wonderful kind of dependable trustworthy energy that is there that is balanced that is kind of not rushing not giving its attention to too much and all over the place there's a lovely little pigeons are landed on my roof um and it understands you're the masculine aspect of yourself is, un is an understanding of what you're looking to do so you're so although you're way ahead with the ideas and the inspiration the other part of you is is making the most wonderful sure-footed steady steps or movements as the seahorse you're harnessing your your way you organize yourself and your practicalities and your logic and your reasoning and your movements you're harnessing it in a very beautiful powerful energetic way and that is why it is a seahorse as well here for you so just wonderful that's what's blossoming um 
what a spirit asking you to spring clean from your life at this time thank you okay so uh to come away ah you've got the ace of autumn on the bottom of the deck there's something that you need to whisk out of your life because this is coming in okay this ace of pentacles this is an energy that's around you at this time to what to spring clean what to remove from your energy um you can't do this first of all you can't do this remove that from your mind and just do it and then see what happens see how the can't just dissolves away uh what to spring clean from your life as well is anything that is constricting you at this time from from doing this any constrictive thoughts as well um and just to to move away from something that hasn't and whether this is yourself in terms of that negativity that you might have about yourself um because you're very powerful in the space that you're in right now and you and only you remember as a soul is stepping up to do what you are being chosen to do um but it's to come away from anything that's been restrictive for you to come away from anything that's kept you in a space whether that be an environment or people relationships whatever just to move away from it and um and to spring clean to kind of make that decision to let go of something to move on to focus on hope to focus on growth to focus on the change and to focus on using the change to your advantage because this represents change but the end of challenging times for you and this little tabby cat independently is navigating its way using the winds of change to do something and that my darling is leading you to this a new foundation for yourself so let go of your doubt about yourself let go of how you wish and desire for this to happen and allow the winds of change that's a sprinkly bit and allow instead the winds of change to take you where it is that you are going you're not fighting up straight you're not deciding to go against the current of your life go with the current of what is happening at this time literally go okay universe I'm, I'm handing this over to you I'm going to I'm going to follow the signs I'm going to follow the breadcrumbs and that's really powerful and this is leading to a new foundation which is this because I feel, and I said this in another reading, this little kitten, you know how cats and dogs too have a sense of when it's breakfast or supper or whatever they eat. They just know. And you just know, you have a feeling something's happening, something's something's coming in, something's coming in, because you know, you've done it before so many times. And the nine and the ace makes the ten of pentacles, which is that ultimate fulfillment for you. And no wonder, because you're the king of wands. You, you know your key to all of this your energy is the key to everything that's happening and you're in a high vibration and you, you you're doing it darling you're doing all of this you're manifesting your reality and you're going to get it's this is plentiful this ace of pentacles is plenty it's enough is plenty maybe it's more than enough but it's coming and this little kitten's like oh my god look at this coming in so so but you have an anticipation of it coming in and it's going to land it's going to be right in front of you but so um just know that trust that knowing that this is coming okay and and this is creating this three of autumn here and uh the last card for you is what to embrace just to finish off now <laughs> the justice card um whatever you're doing now my darling is you're very close to this heart's fulfillment so close and it's all about the balanced decisions that you're making at this time. Um, it's not only about the balanced decisions that you're making. It's about the it's about the balanced action that you are taking. This elephant is putting its foot forward, and it's about the strength that you're feeling in the action that you're taking. And it's about what you're remembering about yourself and the reclamation of your spiritual view of life and the concept of what that means in the actions that you are taking at this time. This is about the laws of the universe working for you as they always are, but your perception is that they are now working for you. It's about using them as guideposts uh, for yourself. And this elephant is, is um, is very very happy you can see his expression here so it's your it's putting your best foot forward and not worrying about what's going to happen for you um and you know also with this is to say that everything is working out just as 
just as you intended. Everything is working out within your divine design according to spiritual law, but it is, you are so close to that fulfillment of that which you desire, my darling. So there we are. That is your reading. I trust and hope that that has helped those that have resonated with it. I look forward to doing you I'm starting the April readings next week. And obviously you've got your weekly um, reading next week too, my darlings. So much love to you and have a rest of a beautiful weekend. Take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.